If you saw it, then you know. Colorado was lit last night. Northern Lights like we have not seen in years around here. Our Evan Krugel has a review of last night's show and a preview of coming attractions if you can get out from under the cloud cover. So it's like being on a ship. You have to haul this rope. To see what's happening in outer space, you typically need special equipment. This is what you look through if you're here using this telescope. So this one to bring it down. Jennifer Hoffman often has the best view as director of DU's Chamberlain Observatory. Super fun. But every so often, the stars align for a show that's visible to the naked eye. Oh my gosh, it was just incredible. It's so beautiful. From Jennifer Cry's house on the Western Slope. Phenomenal, phenomenal colors. To Carrie O'Connor's home in Breckenridge. Seeing them with the naked eye was just so special. And yeah, we were jumping up and down in excitement. <laughs> to Danny Westover's barn in Arvada. It was truly a dream and magic. It was just, I felt like we were in a magical story. Magic that played out across the state thanks to what Jennifer calls a perfect storm. So the sun right now is in a very active phase. That means it's spitting out charged particles. And when it hits the Earth, those charged particles can excite the molecules in our atmosphere. And those excited molecules can then emit light that we normally don't see. Jennifer says the sun's magnetic activity peaks every 11 years. But this storm was particularly strong, making the northern lights visible much farther south. And the timing was perfect with clear and dark skies. Uh, never as a kid growing up in Denver, Littleton area, just never seen anything like that. It was really one of those like once in a lifetime experiences. I have seen the Aurora before, but I've never seen them that bright. Jennifer says storms like this will happen again. But how visible they'll be remains a mystery. Pure magic. I mean, I, I sat there and I was like, what a, what a gift the universe is giving us right now. Now, I just spoke with the space weather forecasting folks up at NOAA in Boulder. They say it is still up in the air as to whether we'll be able to see a show like that tonight. That latest and final round of the storm has arrived, but it is a lot weaker than the one we saw last night. So it still remains to be seen. No sign yet here in the Nine News backyard. Now, the experts recommend popping outside every half hour or so from now until midnight. And if you can't see them with the naked eye, don't be afraid to pull out the phone and take a picture. You might be surprised, Kyle, by what you can see. So, I mean, I know that last night's show was unprecedented in recent years, but I feel like a couple times in the last year or two, Evan, we have heard about the northern lights being visible, at least in northern Colorado. Is it happening more often? The short answer is no. We just happened to be in one of those peak windows in that 11 year cycle. And she also mentioned that the, uh, the prevalence of cell phones today and the technology makes it feel like it's happening more often. Because Kyle, think back to the cell phone you had 11 years ago. It did not have the technology that we have yep. today. These days, anyone can pull out the phone, even if it's not visible to the naked eye, and get a picture of Aurora Borealis. So that makes it feel like it's more common. We just happen to be in one of those peak windows right now. So if you miss it tonight, the good news, you just have to wait 11 more years. A useful reality check. Evan Krugel, thank you.